The Nerdgasm Talk podcast is brought to you by Spaces Philly. If you love podcasts, go to spacesphilly.com where you can check out Lulu and Pop, Both Sides, Turntables, Jump Thoughts, Super Tongue, and the Nerd Coalition's very own No Gimmicks Needed. Visit spacesphilly.com today. And now, feel the Nerdgasm. I know the trailer you've been waiting for. Hot damn. Mortal Kombat. Now, I, I wish I I'm wish like I somebody got to do <laughs> I wish I knew all the Easter eggs that was in this trailer. I do not, so I had to go look them up. So <laughs> I will be uh, charting down. If you notice something in the trailer, you're free to bring it up. But first, I'm gonna get uh, our initial reactions for it. I'm gonna start with Lady Sketch this time on uh, the Mortal Kombat trailer. Uh, how did you? What did you think of it? Um, I thought it was dope. I was like, I definitely want to see this Mm -hmm. and i am curious because i don't i didn't watch the original mortal kombat movie as much as somebody in this room Mm -hmm. um (laughs) i know it was bad but i'm just like i'm curious hold on hold on the original movie it's not bad it's not as bad as they say annihilation annihilation is the bad one fine 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 you can have that one um, I am curious to see where it's going. I had one question, um, seeing it myself. I'm gonna let my lovely husband get to that though. Um, uh-huh. <laughs> why are you look at me like that? I hope your hand is all right. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let him get to that because we know he's going to ask mm-hmm. or shout it. I don't know, however, but um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm curious to see. It, it looks like it's going to be really good. Um, please don't let us down. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> we won't hear like, the end of it. I, I hate that. Like, you see a trailer and it looks good, and then you see the movie and you're like, oh. Uh, we, we won't hear the end of it. <laughs> uh, I enjoyed the trailer. However, in the trailer, I did notice a lot. And I was like, I hope they don't just force everything into this movie. I was like, please don't, just, just don't like, don't, don't do it, <laughs> don't do it, y'all. Just take your time and just make the movie and just make it, be make it fun, make it fun, because that's what we want to see. We want to see bloody action. We want to see cool fight scenes. We also want to see Johnny Cage, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, Miss Annie, I know you have reaction. I was waiting. On- I wasn't gonna say nothing. <laughs> Well, no, I'm putting it out there. Let's just let's just start right off the bat because we we already know we, we're, we're going to get to it. Uh, Miss Andy, we have your reaction on the Nerd uh, Coalition Studios channel. Make sure you check out the uh, reaction. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to the channel for more reactions. But what did you think about it for the people that didn't see it? I felt two ways about this trailer. Okay. Okay. But the <laughs> everything I see, I I just it, the fan service made me geek out the most. Mm-hmm. At first, I, I had to watch the trailer twice. I, I, I'm talking about, I reacted to it, I put it up, and I was I was watching it again as it was rendering. And I was just like, okay. First off, the, the, the fan service is great. I, me being a, a Mortal Kombat just lover, from, from, from the first game, I enjoyed all the fan service they had in here. I enjoyed the blood. I enjoyed the guts. I enjoyed the martial arts of it. Mm-hmm. All the things about this, I, I love. I love seeing all the... The known characters that I, as soon as I see him, I knew who that was. I knew that was. I knew who that was. I knew who that was. Mm-hmm. All that was great. And then I'm looking like, okay, I understand that fans like, look, we just want a Mortal Kombat movie that you know that's gonna you know give, give us some blood, give us some guts. I'm just like, I, I get that, but there has to be a, a substance to it. And from the trailer, I'm like, oh, we're not doing. I I I have a fear. Of where the story is going to go, and if it goes this way, I may not like this movie. Uh oh. But I'm hoping it does. But that's just a quick reaction before we go to the breakdown. Gotcha. Um, one thing I did notice in the trailer uh, again, they did talk about uh, Cole Young. Is that the uh, the like the lead of the movie? I'm not sure if his name is. Yeah. <laughs> Now, we really didn't get much of him in that trailer. And I'm like, are they just going to introduce him and just leave him? Which, I'm like, okay, I 
what was the point of introducing them if you're just going to leave them? But that's just, um, that's just, you know, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, one thing we noticed is that Sub-Zero is la- labeled a wanted fugitive. Mm-hmm. Now, um, would this mean this is the first Sub-Zero before he dies and his brother becomes Sub-Zero and then he becomes new Cybot? Yeah, I did my research, so, uh. Oh, look at, look at <laughs> Yeah, I did. So, is it going to be Behan? I'm sorry? Behan, that's his name. Okay, I didn't know his name. I, I didn't do that. I didn't do enough research, apparently. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's what I am I noticed in the beginning trailer. And then we we saw that cool scene where he's fighting uh, Makai Brooks, Ashtray Bitch. Uh, Ashtray! Okay, I was waiting for you to... <laughs> First you didn't give me a chance. <laughs> I, I, I was like, as soon as I said Makai Brooks, Ashtray, bam. <laughs> I thought he was going to hit it right away. <laughs> but uh, we get him uh, freezing the gun. That that was just a cool effect. I'm glad we got that. And him breaking his arms. Now, as far as I know, it's Ermac that takes Jack's arms, right? It is. How do you feel about this? I'm not... Mad that they're because ch- right now, if you're not a Mortal Kombat here, you don't know the story. Mm-hmm. Okay, so as of right now, it's like they're how how do I explain this? For somebody like you and Lady Sketch, it's like okay, because in reality, Jax ain't supposed to get his arms to the third movie. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody want to wait that long, especially if the movie's not good and they don't get behind a sequel. They, th- this Mortal Kombat is literally be all end all. Out of everything that happened with the Mortal Kombat, the first one, and Annihilation, and the the failed devastation, they got it, ain't going nowhere. And then of course they had little anime shorts, and then they had uh, those uh, YouTube uh, series, the Mortal Kombat Legacy and Rebirth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This it and after Warner Brothers was like, okay, the anime. The, uh, the animated movie work, but let's see if we get a live action. They are probably looking at this is our last chance <laughs> at Mortal Kombat. So, whatever the fans like, get to it fast, okay? And get to it now to the point where, look, I can tell by the trailer, we're not doing all this tournament t- storytelling shit. Mm-hmm. Because, like I said, there's a lot of things you, you're looking in there. I'm like, wait a minute. Half the people that are supposed to be in this movie right now. Mm-hmm. If we're telling the story from the beginning, there is no Kung Lao. If we're telling the story from the beginning, it looked like a spoiler for Reptile. There should be no Reptile. Then we shouldn't see no Shao Kahn. I said th- those are different things that was in the trailer. Like it should, th- th- there is no Cold Quinn. Okay, in the original, in the original story, the first thing it is Lou, Sonya, and Johnny Cage. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Now. We got all these other characters, so I think it's to the point where it's like, we got to get this done, and we're going to have to give us the most fan service before and kind of like tell a new different kind of story, which I'm not mad at. I'm not necessarily mad at it, at least at least when it comes to, t- to taking Jax's arms, okay. because people who are in the Mortal Kombat, like when, when anybody hears Jax, they just hear, they see this, this big black guy with metal arms. arms yeah. Yep. And to, to some people, I have talked to some parents at my son's school, and I have talked to people online, people who just know about Jackson. All they know about is this big black guy with metal arm. They don't know anything about Jackson's backstory. They even know that he didn't start off with those. Mm-hmm. So I thought he was just he just came sliding out the womb with the arms. I yeah, mean, like okay. he, he he birthed himself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a type thing. So I'm like, so it's like you you want to get to the point. Fine, I'm cool with them getting to the point. So that that doesn't bother me too much. Mm-hmm. Okay, I I, I your I, your tone sounds like you're going to continue, but you don't. So <laughs> it just throws me off. Um, what, what's it? My tone is trying to sound like I ain't trying to take over this podcast like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, like, you're the most well. Yeah, this is Mortal Kombat. You, I, I, I get that, but, I'm saying, but he's hosting where we're going to. So where he's going to next? And I was okay. like, look, I was like, get all, get all your fandom out, <laughs> get it all out. Let's see if I get all the fandom out. That and, and, and people be like, well, can't follow that. Then you're saying since it comes to me talking, I want it to be a conversation. I mean, okay, all right, you can't have a conversation with like, okay, 
prime example, I'm not gonna come up to y'all and be like, y'all hear about the new release from such and such some hip hop artist that y'all ain't never heard of. I'm not expecting it. You are the Mortal Kombat expert in this conversation. So if you got stuff to say and maybe we could feed off of that, sure. But I personally I don't know much about Jax either. I did know that that's not how he lost his arms. Mm. But um I can't tell you much else besides that. <laughs> yeah. Same thing here. <laughs> Uh, the next scene we got was uh, Cole Young with a familiar mark on his chest, which is the Mortal Kombat logo, and that lets his that's let him know that he is destined to take place in the tournament. <laughs> you sound upset. Would you like to talk? I, about <laughs> I do not know why Cole Quinn has to be a thing. And honestly, if the rumor is they're trying to turn Cole into Johnny Cage. It bothers me. And is it because that Johnny Cage is my favorite character in Mortal Kombat? Yeah, yes. part of it. <laughs> but Johnny Cage, Mortal Kombat was created around Johnny Cage. Johnny Cage is the first character created in Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. He is taken off of um, what's it, Charles Carl Van Damme's Bloodsport. This is what Johnny Cage is. That's why the characters look similar in the first game. Mm hmm. So I'm sitting. Everybody who's a Johnny Cage fan, even my man over at Uncaged Games, I'm sitting to think. Everybody who's a Johnny Cage fan, they're like, "Yo, where is Johnny? Johnny is the icebreaker for all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all this outworld serious shit that you're going to get, Johnny is the icebreaker for all that. That's what made the camaraderie between Luke Cage, Sonya Blade, and Johnny Cage work. The Cole Quinn thing is like, how I explain it? It's like a Space Jam storyline. What? Let me explain. Okay. Yeah, he's about to break it down. <laughs> you know what I'm where, like, where are we going? Like, talk to me. Remember when they brought in Michael Jordan, and it's like I'm in a world full of Looney Tunes, mm -hmm. and I'm introducing every single Looney Tune in here. Like everybody don't even really need to be in here, but I'm just I'm in a world surrounded by these characters. Gotcha. That's what it seems like. Okay. We're not going into a tournament. We're not sure. It's, it it kind of looks like he is just interjected into the middle of them. Either losing the tournament or trying to win it, or something that's coming up to the point where it's like, hey, this guy right here, this is Kung Lao, and this is Liu Kang. I'm Sonya Blade. And it's kind of like, wait, hold, 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 hold on. This ain't a round table of friends. Like, I don't want to meet the super friends, okay? <laughs> Not with Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I don't need Cole Quinn meet, meeting these, these League of Heroes. I'm like, no, that's just not how. I want the story to go because it don't. They don't see right. It's like Sonya's taking him on this fish out of water tour, and he's like, "What's another rumble? What's that?" I'm like, "Oh God, I don't need this right now." A lot of Mortal Kombat fans don't need this right now, y'all. And I, and I maybe that they want to try something new. Mm -hmm. Maybe they want to be like, "Well, since we're so deep into the Mortal Kombat, we want to tell something different." But, but, the, but then they give him the same. They give him the Johnny Cage story, which, he, which we talked about in this podcast months before. Y'all give them the same storyline instead of an actor. He's an MMA fighter. So why not just put Johnny in the, in the thing in the first place? And th the guy, I didn't see much from him. Mm -hmm. But I'm just like, I swear a burnt piece of bacon could give me a better smile than this guy can. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I wonder, because it does seem like a lot of the characters are um, of Asian descent. I wonder if they didn't want to do Johnny. Maybe, but I don't still, know. it's I, like listen, it's I'm just, weird. I'm just, I'm just throwing shit at the wall to see what sticks. Jackson's not Asian. The, the, Sonya's not Asian. Mm -hmm. There are there. As they, there are they are Americans. Just uh, Jack, Sonya, Johnny Cage. They're all from America. No, no, yeah. I understand what you're saying. I'm just wondering, like, because he would be like the main character, obviously. I'm wondering if that's why. I don't know. Maybe he will appear. I I honestly have no idea. I it, it to me it sounds like you make a Looney Tunes movie without Bugs Bunny. I get it. No, I, it, I completely agree. That's what it so I'm like. just it's trying like, to what? figure out maybe why we didn't see him. Mm -hmm. Are they saving him? They want people to come and watch it. You know, like does he show up? He won't show up anyway. I have no idea. I don't know. Okay, and gotcha. then some people have theories like. Well, maybe Cole could be Scorpion's son. I'm like, don't do that. That'll be weird. <laughs> don't. Do I'm like, don't. If that's the case, just make Takeda. 
if that was the if that was the thing, because I'm not saying Takeda is Scorpion. That's Kenshi's son raised by Scorpion. But what I'm saying is, if y'all do the state where Scorpion's whole family's dead, up oh, except for one, <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm sorry, please don't do that no more. It's and, and just like, and it's just like, okay, then then all this pain, you know, say uh, Scorpion has been going through, and all of a sudden his son comes back. I'm just like, that's what he was leading up to. <laughs> Okay. You know, see, that's not that. That's that's not what I necessarily want. That, that's that, that's me personally. That's not that's not what I said. That these are the different theories that people will have going around. I'm just like, anytime I gotta make a theory about one of the main characters, I have a problem with. It. I I I actually agree with you. Mm-hmm. I know I always make fun of you about you know your your love of Johnny Cage and everything, but I agree this time. I don't understand. You know, I understand. There, there are people out there that be like this. Stop changing the race of the people. I'm like, hold on, stop that. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, they, they create new characters or characters that don't exist that you just didn't know about. Mm-hmm. When it comes to certain main like, there's certain main characters, you know, I, I, I'm i saying to myself that you don't... I don't understand how, how, this, is, how this is fitting in everywhere. Because we're getting... An, we're really getting an all-star cast of c- combatants that not even shouldn't be in this movie yet. They, they showed Melina, which we didn't get to. This is why I didn't want to keep going off and think, because we didn't mm-hmm. get to that part yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, to it's the point, and the I, next I, part. I, that, that's actually the next part. So, okay, you, you're, well, you're feeding yeah. right in. <laughs> so you, you, can, say, you can bring her up. Well, like when we get a shot of Melina, I'm just like, y'all mean to tell me we're gonna do Melina without Katana? Now, I, there was another scene in the trailer where we saw Katana's fan in the background. I'm not sure if is it going to actually have Katana, but it's going to be weird. And it, it, it is, but, but, but then on top of that, we do Katana without Sindel. But wait, we do Sindel without Shao Kahn? That's how all these characters link up. Right. It, it, it's like, that's why they're not in the first game. <laughs> that's exactly why they're not in the first... They only put Katana in the first movie to help advance the Luke Cage pussy plot. <laughs> okay, but I'm saying those, you know, Adenian lady ninjas don't come until the second movie. I'm wondering if they're really just trying to squish everything into one movie so they're trying to give us all the... Like... I don't know. I Honestly, well, I have no idea. That's what it feels like. They're squishing yeah. everything... Because uh, uh, like I said at the beginning... It, it's like one of us like this is our last chance at a Mortal Kombat thing. It, it's almost we, we like got, how Aquaman was. Like Aquaman gave us a lot in that film, and it's almost like, what are y'all gonna do for the second? I feel like this movie is doing that. But see, but see, that's what I say. So if you're giving us all these kind of characters, you can't tell the original story because mm-hmm. it will make absolutely no sense. So the way the way you have to tell a story is almost like a fish out of water story of this new guy coming into this world. Mm-hmm. So you have to change it up a little bit. So I respect it, but I don't respect it at the expense of a main character. Yeah. If Cole Quinn came in and Johnny is still around, then I'm like, okay, there's something new. Let's let, let's try it. But now I got we got theories going around to the point where it's like, is Cole Johnny Cage? Or is Cole Scorpion son? Or who is Cole Quinn? Type question. And to the point, we're sitting there thinking, like, wait a minute, where is Johnny Cage? Mm-hmm. If Johnny Cage is there, he might be. I don't know. I don't know if one of us is is even on the same thinking pattern as Marvel is the high shit in their trailer. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I, but I'm sitting there saying to myself, if Johnny was in here. And I see Cole Quinn. I still be like, I don't know if I want it to be a story, but I understand that if you're trying to just put all your things out in there, why not, you know, try it? And by the way, uh, th- this woman that's playing Molina is a black woman. Yes, I did say that. Woman. Yeah, I forgot her name. And for the people out there who are, you know, in their feelings, um, let me tell you something. Uh, Mol- Molina. If it was, was made, okay, that's number one. And where she's made from comes from people of Adenia, which means they have no race over there. <laughs> they have kind no of like Starfire. They have no race whatsoever. If you because they've always, I see people in the comments like she would have made a better Jade. How do we know that? 
I wasn't <laughs> in the like, casting yeah. room. <laughs> it's like y'all only say she made it by Jade because she's a black girl. And Jade is usually played by a black or Hispanic woman. But Jade in more common knowledge was Asian. Adenia does not have race. Even if they don't have race. It's like when you play Mortal Kombat 11, yeah, Jade is a brown skin. So is Rain. But they're not Hispanic or black people. It's like Katana, a Katana looks looks Asian. And so does Melina, even though she's a clone of Katana. And so does Adenia, but there's no race there. Mm -hmm. I just want to see what the girl can do. Right. My biggest thing was I'm just like, is she for Melina yet? Because I'm like, she still got her cheeks. <laughs> <I'm just laughs> yeah, yeah, she still had them. That's why I didn't notice. Um, and, and I'm just like, I'm like, she still got cheeks. But then once again, it's like, do you give her for uh, Melina? Because then where's Baraka? Because mm -hmm. you need the Tarkatan to mix with the Adenian to make Melina. Right. So um, many. It's, see, that's why it's hard for a fan to watch it. <laughs> <I'm saying laughs> I mean, and I get it. Because it's like, why why am I watching this kind of thing? And and I know y'all about to mess this up real bad. Um I don't know, knowing that like there's so many moving parts to the story and it seems like y'all are kind of rushing it to like put it all in one, uh does kind of seem like somebody's some somebody or some story is going to get shortchanged. Right. And I know you can't make everybody happy. But I would, I would dare to say, like you should probably at least stick to the initial plot. Uh, I mean, like maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just you know old fashioned. No, but <laughs> no, I agree with that. Um, next thing we got is Raina and Shang Tsung meeting together. Um, I'm confused on who the antagonist in this film is going to be. <laughs> Then we get uh, a scene of Scorpion's origins, which first of all, that action scene looked great. I was like, "Come on, let's get let's get all bloody and stuff." I'm down with it. We get a shot of Kano using his uh, cyborg eye. We get a shot of Liu Kang using the dragon. Uh, Jack's uh, fighting with his arms. We get some uh, scenes of Kung Lao. We get a like an actual scene of Lord Raiding coming in with the lightning and all that. And then we see uh, Shao Kahn's statue as well. So, like you were saying, I know Shao Kahn is a big part of who Melina is as a character. Um, maybe they'll go into this. What I don't know. This is a non mortal combat fan speaking. What if he sent out Melina to assassinate him? Uh, would that make sense for the story for you? If he said if he sent out Melina to do what? To like assassinate the main cast. Uh just Liu Kang, Shao Kahn. Or I mean, that would be Well Lino would be probably the last person on his list. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Be, uh, <laughs> the, 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 the the first of all, the, the double back, okay, number one. Here's things I do want to say. Mm -hmm. I need them to do raid and right. Mm -hmm. They have never done raid and right in anything. Poor Raiden. First of all, Raiden, this, this is what Ray is supposed to be. Ray is the god of thunder. Mm -hmm. Ray number one is supposed to be like seven feet tall. Okay. Okay, number two, Ray is not white. Mm -hmm. Okay, from the first two Mortal Kombat movies. Even though I like Christopher Lambert as Raiden, mm -hmm. he just, that's what Raiden is literally of Japanese culture. Then if you look up the name Raiden, it is of Japanese culture. Of, I, I know. It, okay. I know. Oh, I, I know you know. A friend of mine. That's her son's name. I know. Yeah. Is she of. No, she's black. Uh -oh. but she's an anime. <laughs> <laughs> but she's an anime fan. But she had, so I'm glad it looks like they they, they got a, a Asian guy to play Raiden. Yes, I was I, trying but, to find his name. I can't find it. Um, and which I like. What I want to see is Raiden do some badassery shit. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about Duke Nukem flipping down the aisle fighting three reptiles in Mortal Kombat Annihilation. <laughs> I'm not talking about somebody who's sitting there crying and always going to the elder gods and wondering why this shit ain't work. I'm like, bro, aren't you a god? <laughs> okay? I'm not talking about somebody that, that, that that's clearly got a gap tooth and fighting show kind of his pajamas in the beginning of the movie. That's not what, that's not the Raiden I'm looking for. I'm looking for, like, yo, please don't fuck with me Raiden right now, because this man will, like, literally fry the shit out of you. 
Okay. I'm looking for the Ray moves where he got the arm in the air to bring the lightning down that gravitates you to his other hand. Like, whoa, did you see that? That's the kind of Ray I'm looking for. Okay? And I'm like, I hope they make a bad answer. The guy who they got playing Shang Tsung looks a lot like uh, Henry Tagawa, who played Shang Tsung in the original movie. Mm-hmm. So I, I'm curious to see how his Shang Tsung is going to play it out. So I, I'm curious to that. And also, what is Shang Tsung's role in this? Is Because... Shang Tsung's biggest thing is the tournament. Yeah. If there's no tournament, why are you here? Right now, I remember- well, they, asked about, they talked about the tournament with old boy when he he catches. Who is old boy? I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm uh, sorry. Cole Young. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the only one who understand you is Q Flow. You know what I'm saying? So where is who is old boy you talking about? My man with the with the chest brand. The John. Oh 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 oh, oh Cole Quinn. Yes. Uh huh. Why do you keep saying Cole Quinn? Is it? <laughs> Is it that his name? No, it's Cole Young. I thought I thought you were doing like oh, a play on words or something. <laughs> oh wow! Well, then, look, then, I thought his name name up. He <laughs> <laughs> don't care. I okay. was like Wakanda. <laughs> yeah, Waqu- oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> I can actually got that. I, I, I was at my house. Say, why you say it like that? Bro? <laughs> 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 I look at Sonya Blade, I'm just like, huh, her priority is not Kano. I'm shocked. Because if anybody look at Sonya Blade, every movie is Kano. I'm going to find Kano. We got to get Kano. Kano killed my partner. Kano, Kano, Kano. It's always about Kano. And I'm just like, yo, please, I hope that she whooped this man ass mm-hmm. and, get, and, and get Kano back. I hope they, you know, illustrate the friendship and the loyalty between her and Jax. Mm-hmm. And I was hoping they would tease the love interest and the annoyance of her and Johnny Cage. That's what makes it fun. Mm-hmm. They they get married and have a daughter, but just to get there is entertaining of just seeing how this military woman is acting around this Hollywood superstar. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm which which makes it very entertaining because in the story you forgot Sony is actually the bad parent, not Johnny. Mm. Wow. Yeah, Sony wow. the one that leaves. So yeah. Now, when we see a shot of uh, Shane Sung in the trailer, we see standing behind him um, is Melina and another ninja. And that ninja looks like it's going to be Smoke. Which, wow, they added him in here too. <laughs> um, because Smoke and Sub Zero are best friends. Okay. But, I don't mean to cut you off again, but it's not the Beehive Sub Zero. Mm hmm. Beat uh the um Kwai Lang's best friend is Smoke. Okay. Kwai Lang is Sub Zero's younger brother. Okay. So they're the ones that's friends. So I'm just like, I hope y'all don't play up the Smoke and Sub Zero thing as their friends because Behind is not that. Okay. Right. Behind is not that at all. Behind is a straight assassin. And then once again, I mean double back, but when they said that Sub Zero is a fugitive. So I'm like, it looks like they're going after Sub Zero because he he, he created mass murder of uh, Hazo Asashi's tribe, aka Scorpions. Right. Mm-hmm. It, the, I swear, the funniest thing I've seen tonight is me talking about this and seeing my wife's face like, wait, who? <laughs> what? Wait, like, uh-huh. <laughs> like, you, you, like, like, you know, you, you said y'all wear glasses when your eyes get big, but the glasses like, Ooh. Computer processing right now. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm just, I'm just talking. I'm just like, see, this is this is why I would do. It. I'm it's just like, lo- it's loading. It's loading. Like, What'd you say? It's loading. We, 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 we after we see the movie, we'll look back on this and we'll appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm just, I'm just saying. So look, if they're going after him for this, for this uh, death of Scorpion's tribe, do we put Quan Chi in the movie? Because he has a big part to do with that, too. I'm not sure if they'll put him in the movie, but they definitely put Reptile in the movie. Oh, I do not like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I saw the look of him. Well, it looks like he's going to be out the movie real quick. Kano punched him in the chest, grabbed his heart. So well, I was like, what? Well, first, like I said, we don't necessarily know if it's Reptile or not, but I'm just saying. But one thing is I am not a fan of Reptilian Reptile. Mm-hmm. But... Once again, that form of reptile does not come until we get to like Mortal Kombat Five. Gotcha. Or, or Mortal Kombat Four. 
after depression kicks in. That's why Russia sort of looks like starts to look like that. Okay. Starts to lose his human form. And I'm just like, oh, we are just jumping all over the place with this Mortal Kombat stuff. I'm just like, but like, once again, I wonder if they just started catering to the um, casual moviegoers at this point. Well, I, well, I, I think what right now what they're trying to do is you ca- you cater to the casual gamers or the people who love the Mortal Kombat game. Okay. There's no. I, I once again, I don't know this for sure. But I don't know if Sonic Fox knows the lore of Mortal Kombat like you do the game. Okay. That made a master of the game. Okay. He just coming to collect I don't know his if I... check. <laughs> <laughs> would, would you say what? I said he just coming to collect his check. But okay. do I know if he knows the history of Mortal Kombat? Okay. You know what I'm saying? So this trailer, if they want to get somebody like him to see it, will probably appease to him more than somebody like me or Uncaged Games or people who truly know who know the story of but even without that though that still doesn't explain the absence of Johnny. It don't. I, I don't I do not understand that's the absence of Johnny Cage at all. And honestly, me personally, if we're gonna do a story like this, see and it because see I, I'm so rooted in the story, I, I would do the combat kids. Why not Cole Young go up there with Cassie and Jackie? And Takeda and Kun Jin. I would have, yeah, I would have accepted that a little bit more. And then it's like, okay, my dad's also there. And then we're, we're, we're fighting this, um, this, this, this out world threat type thing. But once again, you're getting into what Mortal Kombat is now. Yeah, or just had the story yeah. take place after Mortal Kombat 11. Exactly. But then once again, people, mean, people just probably want the classic stuff. Right. Yeah, Unfortunately, uh, speaking of classic, we got a classic character, Goro, uh, in the trailer. He looked really he good. He looks, yo, he looks wh- really whoever good. Bro is, whoever bro is, his life is over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's probably cool. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped down somebody, and his his whole life is over. I was like, but you know what? I love seeing Goro because that makes sense. Yo, what, what a- Goro being there, being you know, uh, the champion, as I, I, I that that would make sense. Do I get my Five hundred dollars sunglasses asshole line? No, I don't. But I mean, hey, what seeing Goro there is, is dope. Now that could be Cole. Uh, the shot where we see him, it looks like Cole Young is fighting him. Well, that's Johnny Cage, and just he just dies instantly. <laughs> Will that result you into leaving the movie? <laughs> I've already experienced that once in my life <clears throat> when it came to Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Oh, I don't need to experience it again. Gotcha. <laughs> That that you don't understand how much that hurt me, especially when I was a little kid watching that. I was in a movie theater and I screamed no. <laughs> I was in a movie theater and I was just like Sonya Blade, no Johnny. Like why would you do something so stupid? And then first of all, why would Shao Kahn no sell the Shadow Kick? Like let, let, let's, let's, let's not fuck around with the Shadow Kick, all right? And then my man just get his neck snap, and I'm just like, what happened? Who pissed the? Who made this movie? <laughs> they, I'm like y'all just, I'm just doing so much dirt and Johnny Cage like what Johnny Cage's death in the whole Mortal Kombat whole thing is an impactful thing it's a real, you lost the main one of the main members of the team ain't like you know what I'm saying ain't like you lost your backup to your backup to your backup you ain't lose Curtis Stryker we don't fuck about that cop <laughs> I'm saying right I'm t- not saying I don't give a fuck about Kyle. I'm talking about that that character. About. I'm just saying, but, like... but I'm just like, but we ain't lose Curtis Stryker. We lost Johnny fucking Cage, and they and they and they, they fuck him up in the movie. I'm just like, so yeah, no. I hope not, Swag, because I do, I do not want no no other Johnny Cage death. I'm like, yo, if we do that, I may walk out gotcha. of my room. <laughs> <laughs> I either or I just I just push the the, the PlayStation Five. And I'm like, you know, and my wife be like, why you stop the movie? I'm like, I'm gonna let you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to think about it. I may return to it tomorrow. <laughs> um, and then the last couple scenes we got, we have uh, Scorpion fight in Sub Zero, which was really cool. I thought the freeze under the blood was a little cool effect that he had. I didn't like the fact that he was just tossing Scorpion all around like that. I was like, is he going to fight back? Well, I one thing about it. The positives were it looks it was a great fight, great visuals. I, I was we used to get Mortal Kombat 11 combos from Sub Zero. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
but I was like, this is a favorite Sub Zero heavy thing right here. Yeah, that's what it looks I'm like. like. I'm like, hold on. Hanzo Hisashi ain't no damn rookie out this bit. Now, unless we're I just mean, getting that part of the fight. I mean, we have to be. I'm just like, it, it was like Converse guys are like, he's been getting stomped out. Yeah. And I'm like, like, like Sub Zero whooped his ass so bad, he said, get over here, tired. <laughs> he did. Get over here. Get over. I was just like, no, bro. Like, T- take a breath first, say it again. <laughs> I'm yeah. because, uh, and I, I was like, but they made some sort of like a total badass, which, which I like. I did not like the, he was just like, I'm Sub Zero. And like, for everybody else who don't watch Mortal Kombat, this is who I am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if people who don't watch Mortal Kombat, there are three people they know Sub Zero, Scorpion, and Liu Kang. I don't need, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can watch your, I don't need to uh, figure out who they were. And by the way, uh, I don't know if you you caught the swag, but why does Luke King like Ryu? You I don't know. know. Um, I, that's I probably did see that. why. I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's true because that's probably why that one person wrote that article on why Chung Lee is in this film. <laughs> I'm not sure if you saw I, that I, article. I, I, I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why does Luke King got the whole white? You know, sheets with the red, with the red bandana, with the red like this is Ryu. Look, mm-hmm. look, look. This isn't my property. I can't touch it. <laughs> I, I don't feel right making uh, critiques about it. So I was like, look, this I can't. I can't. No, no, you know no, no. Saying? You can make critiques about like, it. Because I, I love Street Fighter too, but I'm just like, but wait, hold on. That's Ryu. Liu Kang is like a knockoff of Bruce Lee. Look, the, I think this is a color variant. Like you, He uh, he pressed R1 before selecting the character. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> bro. And you know what? I believe Tyro Madness said this when I watched his reaction to it, and he made a good point. There was a guy who played Luke Kane in the games, right? Mm-hmm. Who also played in Ninja Turtles, the the Secret of the Ooze. Mm-hmm. This, this Asian guy who is a legit fighter, and he said, "I always wanted to see him get his just due of playing Luke Kane in a live action picture." And I was like, you know what? I don't know where that guy is, but I would have loved to see him because he was a good Luke Kane. Mm. And I never, I never got to see that. This guy don't look bad, but Luke Kane is as generic as they come. So I'm just like, get 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 a guy who looks get get an Asian man that looks intimidating and who's gonna scream like Bruce Lee. <laughs> Ain't much to do. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to Luke Kane, I just I was just kind of thrown off. I was like, why he got that Ryu looking gear on? <laughs> who knows? And. Uh, last but not least, we have Shane Song yelling, finish them. Uh, the mm-hmm. iconic line from Mortal Kombat. And it looks like it's gender neutral. It's not finish him, not finish her, it's finish them. So, well, yeah, <laughs> 2021. We get a, we get a, a great shot of them just literally killing each other. Yeah. So it's like. And then Kano, I'm like, wait a minute, he just kills, pulled somebody's heart out, which is a Kano fatality he should do in the game. I'm like, is his eye, he didn't have an eye in in, in, in that part of the trail. I'm like, this, this is the beginning? I, Maybe. I, I think he had the eye because I see the, I'm not sure if I see the scars on him. It looks like see, the it scars. Also, it also, I, I wonder how they're going to do Kano's eye. Maybe it's Reptile that rips it out. Possibility, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, a lot of questions with this movie. <laughs> a lot of questions. Uh, Which I would like to hear from you. I know. Oh, I'm listening. Uh, nevertheless, I know you're excited to see it. I, I am. I, like I said, I'm still a Mortal Kombat fan. I'm still excited to, to, to see what they do, with it, see how it goes. I always, even if movie looks, look, even if movies don't look like they completely suck, I have to give them a chance. Right. I do my best to, to, to try to do that and give them uh, a hashtag, get, uh, give it a chance. And if it sucks, I'll come back on the movie experience and on the podcast and talk, tell you how much it sucks. Yes. <laughs> you know what I'm but, but if it's great, I'll, I'll praise it. Or they do something new, and I'm scared and on the fence right now, but they actually shocked me and I actually like the whole Cole Young thing, then I'll admit that. You I'll come back and admit that. The DLC. <laughs> he's never afraid to admit when he's wrong. Yeah. I'll give you that. Um, and I'm pretty. I think I'll speak for me and Lee Sketch. Uh, we're, uh, 
we're, we're definitely excited for the movie. Nervous. Yeah, we, we, we good. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm nervous for Mr. A and E, but I'm excited at the same time. <laughs> You sound, like, I mean, you sound like you sound just just like the director when the Shazam came out. But, I'm happy for you. I really am. I, but, I <laughs> man, it was nervous. I was like, I hope they get this right because they fucked up X Men, they fucked up Fantastic Four, and I was like, this is all he got. <laughs> just <laughs> give him this, please. I got my multitudes of Spider Man. I don't need any more. I got into the Spider Verse, and I was like, whoa, we did it. <laughs> we high fived each other, and I was like, cool. <laughs> so you know. Shazam starting off. I got my Shazam. I got my Hydro Man. So things been going all right. Hydro Man. 